In this video, we're going to take a look at a bunch of different keyboard shortcuts that are going to help you navigate through your worksheets and workbooks and help you speed up your Excel work. So let's get started. Now we're going to take a look at the control and arrow key shortcuts. So if you hold control and press any of the arrow keys, so if I press down, that's going to take me to the last non-blank cell. Same with if I hold control and press up or to the right or to the left. Now if our next cell is a blank cell, then it's going to go to the next non-blank cell from there. So if I hold control and press down there, I end up going to the next non-blank cell. And so you can use this keyboard shortcut to quickly move around the workbook. So if I hold control and go to the right, I can go to the end of the worksheet. Or down, I can go to the very last cell in my worksheet or left and back up to where my data is. Now a slight variation on this, if you hold control and shift, then that's gonna allow you to select all the cells until the last non-blank cell. There's also a mouse shortcut that's worth knowing. So when you have your active cell, you can hover over with your cursor on any of the edges. And if you double click, then that's going to move the active cursor over to the last non-blank cell. And you can use any edge there to do that. When you press the enter key on your keyboard, the active cell cursor will normally move down one cell. But we can actually change this. If we go up to the file tab and in options and in advanced options, this section here, after pressing enter, move selection, and we can actually select our direction. So let's try going right instead and make sure that is checked off right there. And if we press OK, now if we press enter, our active cell cursor is going to move to the right instead. The next couple of keyboard shortcuts involve the home key. So wherever your active cell cursor is, if you press the home key, you're going to be taken to the first column in that same row. Now if you hold control and press home, you're going to go to cell A1, wherever you are. And a slight variation on that, if you're here and you press shift and home, you're going to select everything from your active cell to the first column. Or if you press control shift and home, then you're going to select everything from your current location to cell A1. The next set of keyboard shortcuts involve the end key. So if you hold control and press end, your active cell cursor is going to be taken to the last used cell in that worksheet. So here my last used cell, I have some data down here in cell D28. So my last used row is row 28. And I've got some data here in column M. So my last used column is column M. And then the last used cell that I'm going to be returned to is the intersection of those two rows and columns, so right here. And that's even if I'm outside that area and I press Control end I'm going to go up to that area. Or if I'm inside that area and I press Control end I'm going to end up there. Now you can also hold Shift while you're doing that. So Control shift and end and you're going to select all the area from your active cell cursor down to the last used cell. The next couple keyboard shortcuts we have involve the page up and page down keys. So if we press page down, uh, we're taking exactly one screen down the worksheet and we can repeat that. And if we use page up, we get one page up the worksheet, but we can also hold alt and press page down and that's going to take us to the right of the worksheet, exactly one screen. And we can do the same thing, hold Alt and press Page Up, and that's going to take us exactly one screen to the left. The next set of keyboard shortcuts is going to allow you to quickly move between different sheets in your workbook. So if you hold Control and press Page Down, you're going to move to the next sheet. And if you press Page Up, you can go back. Now a slight variation on this, if you hold control shift and page down, then you're going to be able to select and group different sheets together. And you can see up here that I've got 
uh, my workbook name and it says group right next to it indicating that I've got grouped sheets. Now if you want to ungroup your sheets just right click on them and go to ungroup sheets. This keyboard shortcut allows us to navigate back to our active cell when we use the scroll bar to scroll away from it. So if I scroll around with my scroll bar and I want to get back to where my active cell is, if I press control and backspace, that's going to take me back to the view of my active cell. The next shortcut we're going to look at is going to allow us to cycle through different panes in our workbook. So for example, when we select a pivot table, our pivot table fields window pane shows up. And if we want to get to that with a keyboard shortcut, that is going to be F6. So if we press F6 a couple times, we'll eventually land there. And then once you're in the pivot table fields window pane, you can use the tab button to cycle between different objects there, or shift and tab to go backwards, and then up and down to select different items within different sections. So that's the keyboard shortcut F6, and that's going to allow you to cycle between different window panes in your workbook. We can also move between different workbooks in Excel using control tab. So if we press control tab, that's going to move to the previous workbook that we had open and control tab is going to move back to the worksheet we came from. Now if we hold control shift tab, that's going to allow us to cycle through all our open workbooks in Excel. So that's it for this video. A lot of great ways to move around your worksheets and workbooks using keyboard shortcuts that are going to speed up your Excel work. So that's it for this video. See you guys later.